Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I'm super excited to be back in my kitchen filming recipe video tutorials for you all. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Igbo delicacy called abacha, also popularly known as African salad. If you are Igbo, ndi Igbo kwenu! You already know what this delicacy is all about, but if you're not Igbo, I'd advise that you watch with rapt attention because this is one recipe that you would definitely love to learn how to make. So before we go into the cooking process, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please kindly go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell just right beside it so that you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you like this video after watching it, please kindly give us a thumbs up. I always love to see all of your thumbs up. They make me so happy. <laughs> so please go ahead and like the video, okay? All right, guys, now we can go into cooking action. To make the bestest abacha in the world, you will need just a couple of basic and very common ingredients. Start by transferring the dry cassava into a bowl. Then add some boiling water and ensure it is thoroughly submerged in the hot water. Leave to soak for 3 to 5 minutes or until softened. Next, dissolve the potash in some water. Now this potash is a major ingredient in this recipe and there are no substitutes for it at all. This is exactly what it looks like and it is sold at the local market in Nigeria. The women that sell the dry cassava also sell the potash as well, so be sure to ask them when you go to the market, okay? Set aside and move on to the next step. In a medium pot, add the palm oil and about two cooking spoons of the potash liquid. Stir to combine. As you stir, you notice that the palm oil turns to a bright orange color. That's the magic powers of the potash at work. Please note that at this point, your stove shouldn't be turned on. The heat will destroy the potency of the potash. I'll let you know exactly when you can turn on your stove top, okay? Next, add the uba, also popularly known as upaka or African oil bean seed. Stir it into the palm oil, then add some chopped onions, some scotch bonnet peppers, also known as atarudu, seasoning cubes, some crayfish powder, ground pepper, and some salt to taste. Give it a good stir again to combine. I also added some garden eggs that I cut in bite-sized pieces, but this is totally optional, but very highly recommended. The star of this dish, which is the dry, now wet cassava, makes an entrance into the pot. You can also add some shredded smoked fish or stockfish if you desire. Give it a very good stir to combine, ensuring that every strand of the cassava is thoroughly coated with the sauce. At this point, you can now cover up the pot, turn on the heat and reduce to the lowest. Allow to heat up for about 2-3 to three minutes and then afterwards turn off the heat immediately. You merely want to heat things up, not cook it, okay? If you overheat it, you will be left with a watery mess which you won't like. While it is heating up, chop up some garnish for the apacha. I'm chopping up some utazi leaves. The bitter taste of the leaves will complement the savory taste of the apacha. I'm also slicing up some garden eggs and of course some onions. Finally, serve the abacha on the plate. Add any fish of your choice and then garnish with some garden eggs, onion strips and utazi leaves. Nothing tastes better than this, guys. I promise you. Okay, guys, we're done with the cooking process. 
it's time to give this food a good taste test which is actually always my favorite part of the entire cooking process I already know how it tastes because I mean this is a staple dish in my house but I'm just gonna give you guys a preview of what to expect when you decide to try out this recipe in your kitchen as well mm. Mm -hmm. This is really, really, absolutely nice. The fish pieces, the crunchiness from the onions, the softness of the abacha. Everything just works. Perfection on a plate. <laughs> so guys, now you know how to make a yummy pot of African salad, also known as abacha. And even if you're not Igbo, you can still enjoy this delicacy. I know that the houses and the Yorubas love it as well. And if for adventure you do not live in Nigeria and you live in other African countries and you can easily access or find the dry cassava, please do not hesitate to make this dish because the taste is absolutely amazing and it's definitely worth trying out. If you'll be requesting this recipe, please do not forget to take pictures and upload on your Instagram and Facebook stories and tag me at Delicious Foods. I always love to see your recreations, guys. It gives me so much joy. All right, guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Until then, we're going to be very kind to one another. Love yourself generously. And it's me, the queen of fun and fast cooking, signing out right now. I love you all.